farmers markets where we have extreme value and extreme freshness. And hi, I'm Sonia, and what are we cooking today? Ah, uh, Sonia, today we've got a family favourite. In fact, it's quite an old-fashioned family favourite, and we're using our beautiful Granny Smith apples. We're going to be doing a baked Granny Smith apple. Beautiful. Yes, and now these apples are local. They're coming all the way from Manjima, which is a that far, mind you, just down the road. Excellent. And look at them. New seasons. Absolutely beautiful. Crisp, a little bit of a bite, which is how I like my granny. A nice little sharp taste. Um, what we'll do is we will start by coring our beautiful grannies. Now, you can pick up one of these corers at a supermarket or a kitchen store. And you just need to press it in and make a nice hole. And I'm going to do that right now, Sonia. Sonia is actually going to stuff it when I finish doing this. We're going to get some really nice fillings together. Sonia, tell us about the fillings. Sure, we're doing it with our Olympic fine oats, which is your rolled oats. Um, it's basically a porridge that we're using inside the apple, using beautiful sultanas and our almonds. We've got a Canadian maple syrup as well, which we're using for the sugar content. Instead of putting extra sugar in it, this is where we're going to get this from. A nice dog of butter to give it a nice creamy taste as it bakes, yeah. and it will be perfect. That sounds really good. I'll start making the mixture now. Certainly. Now what I've done is I've cored the apple, and I kind of cheat a little bit because I kind of like a lot of filling in mine. So the apple corer only makes a small hole, and this just opens it up so you can get more in. That's a good, great idea. I know. I learned that a long time ago. When, when I was a kid, we used to do dates. Oh, okay. Yeah, dates and dates. Oh, so you could possibly use toasted music too, couldn't you, with all the apricots and things already you, in it? You can, actually. It, um, it, it makes it uh, just a little more exciting. Yeah, <laughs> something different. You put chocolate in it. Because I'm a chocolate fan. Well, I am as well. I was trying to be healthy, though. <laughs> Yeah, why not? Healthy. It is, it is. It is. Healthy. In moderation. Especially dark chocolate. Absolutely. <laughs> the granny, you can smell the freshness of the granny smith. They're standing over here. They are very, there very There we go. Nice. Look at that. I can see right down those. So, excellent. Pop them on the tray. And we're just using either a glass tray or a baking tray. A little bit of kitchen paper on it. That way you don't have to get the sticky business off later on. Okay. Now, Sonia has mixed our beautiful ingredients together. Uh, the almonds, the sultanas, and the lovely oats, and added our special maple syrup, which is a wonderful natural sugar too, by the way. Uh, and the Canadian maple syrup, please don't ever buy the no, imitation no. stuff. If you're going to buy some, please buy the Canadian. The right That's the exactly base. Right. You know their maple syrup. They do, actually. They really do. 40 litres of sap makes one litre of syrup. Really? That's true. Yeah. I know a Canadian. Oh, I do. <laughs> I tell you all these important things of information. Yeah, well, I must admit, it is a beautiful product, even on your pancakes in the morning. I know. Pikelets, you name it. So there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. You just stuff them like that, and yes. I'll pop these in the oven, and I'll sure. grab some pan. Great. Yes, so remember, we've got our lovely apples in season now. Um, a great variety of apples here, apples here at the farmer's market. Um, you'll never be short of a fresh, crisp apple at the farmer's Alright, Sonia, who's going to take 